you've probably seen this clean character reveal everywhere. It looks incredibly professional, but the secret is you can build the entire thing in under 90 seconds with just a handful of nodes. Let me show you exactly how it's done. First, add a background node to your workspace. Change the type from solid to gradient and pick a dark color and a lighter color to create depth. Now add a rectangle mask. Here's where it gets interesting. If you just scale the rectangle, it expands from the center, but we want it to grow from the corner like a true reveal animation. To do this, we need the position to follow the width and height automatically, and that means we need an expression. Don't worry, it's simpler than it sounds. The expression has two parts. X moves with width, Y moves with height. If you want it to grow right, width gets a plus value. If you want it to grow left, width gets a negative negative value. Same logic for height. Positive goes down, negative goes up. Right click on center, choose expression, and paste it in. Now place your cursor in the viewer where you want the animation to start and paste the same value in the expression. Go to frame one, set width and height to zero, and put a keyframe. Move forward a few frames and then increase those values to create the growth. And if you want an even faster method for position, just add a transform node and reposition it wherever you want. Then head to the spline editor, select all keyframes, and apply ease, then press outback cubic for that smooth professional motion. Next, bring in your character. Remove the background, and if you need help with that, I've got a full tutorial linked below. Add a transform node to scale and position your character, then add a matte control node, then add a new rectangle mask. Hold control and drag the output to a garbage matte input, then set the mask height to match your animated rectangle. In the matte control settings, invert the garbage matte. Now in your transform node, keyframe center Y so your character animates from bottom to top as the rectangle reveals it. Smooth out the animation in the spline graph, and you're done. That's it. You just built a professional character reveal entirely in Fusion. Try it out, and if you want more advanced Fusion techniques, don't miss the next video.